This video will help you identify the different types of articles you might find while doing research, popular, trade, and scholarly sources. These are all types of articles you might find in UW-Whitewater Library databases. They are each useful for different things, so it's important that you are able to identify the differences between them. Popular sources such as magazine and newspaper articles are usually fairly short. You won't always find the name of the author listed, and the author of the article is not necessarily an expert on the topic being discussed. They're most often journalists. Articles are written for the general public and don't contain a lot of technical language. You also won't find a list of citations at the end of these articles. Examples of popular magazines are Time and National Geographic, and examples of newspapers include the Wisconsin State Journal and the Janesville Gazette. These sources contain great information for just general reading or for getting an introduction to your research topic, but they usually aren't appropriate for research papers unless you're studying something like how an issue is reported in the popular news. Trade publications sometimes look like magazines, but they contain more specialized content. Articles in trade publications are short to medium in length, but they are written by professionals and for professionals in a specific field. There will be some industry-specific jargon in the articles, you may see informal citations throughout the text, but there usually won't be a formal list of citations at the end of the article. Examples of trade publications are the Chronicle of Higher Education and Advertising Age. These sources are not scholarly, but they may be appropriate for your research depending on the requirements your professor has outlined. Trade publications are great sources to use for something like a marketing or business plan or to stay current on what is going on in a particular industry, like education or music. Scholarly journals, sometimes called academic journals or peer-reviewed journals, don't look like magazines at all. Articles are often long, usually more than 10 pages, and are written by experts, such as a professor, in a field. The language of the article is usually highly academic and contains technical jargon related to the subject matter. Examples of scholarly journals are the Journal of Music Therapy, Cell, and the Journal of Consumer Research. Scholarly articles are great sources to use when you are writing research papers, and there are scholarly articles available in every single subject. If you can't tell if you're looking at a scholarly article, here are some clues. Scholarly articles will almost always have an abstract and a list of works cited or references at the end. In research in the hard sciences or social sciences, the body of the paper will often have sections like an introduction, literature review, methods, results of the research, and discussion or conclusions. Some scholarly articles in the arts and humanities don't follow this structure and look more like essays, but the structure of the paper should still show you that the author carried out detailed, in-depth study of the topic. Most research articles also go through a process called peer review to ensure their research is of a high quality. This is why your professors often ask you to find scholarly articles for research assignments. It's not perfect, but it's the most quality-checked research that's available. For more information on peer review, watch North Carolina State's Peer Review in 3 Minutes video. Here's how to find these specific types of sources. You can limit to a certain article type by using filters in most of the library's article databases, like these examples. The type of source you will need will depend on the requirements of your assignment. Check with your professor if you're not sure what source type you should be using. Don't hesitate to contact the library with any questions. We're happy to help.